Okay, so welcome back to the channel folks. So it's reef update time and we are six months in from the very start on this uh, Evolution Aqua Tank. Now I haven't put any content up for a while now, I haven't put any posts up and um, there's a good reason for that. I've uh, really not been very well. Um, cut a long story short, been diagnosed with a lifelong condition which has come as a bit of a shock to me to be honest so uh, just sort of coming to terms with it. I'm on lots of medication and I've got to see a consultant etc but life goes on and I do plan to uh, do lots of uh, new videos over the ensuing weeks and uh, life goes on with the reef as well and um, say so it's six months in from the start and all is well. I'm just going to put some food in this sec just to entice the fish out because uh, as always they go camera shy. Uh, lots of things have changed you, and if you, if you follow the videos um, you'll notice probably quite a lot of changes. We've added quite a bit of li new livestock, fish and corals. And the, uh, the tank's at that stage where it's sort of uh, just settling in and sort of stabilising. Uh, we've got lots of new coralline growth as you can notice on the back wall it's almost all covered, all the wave pumps are covered in coralline so that's a good sign. Uh, our tank parameters are very, very stable. Uh, I'll just run through those quickly because in most people's videos you see on YouTube, they don't mention their, their water parameters, which is one of the things we all sort of wonder when we're watching these videos, what people's parameters are running at. So I'll just quickly run through them quickly as I always do. Uh, salinity, 35 parts per thousand. Uh, our alkalinity, running these recent tests past couple of days so we're running ALK. ALK does fluctuate between sort of 8.5 and 9. Uh, calcium around 480 to 500 and magnesium 1450. The nutrients, uh, nitrates, we are struggling with nutrients in this tank. It seems to run so efficiently. Uh, nitrates are at 0 0.5 and phosphates are at 0, 0.0 too just but again we're struggling I do feed this tank very heavily we've put added some new fish so after bio load as I'll, uh, I'll show you in a minute when I get the camera off the tripod um, so you know, maintenance wise in this tank we're not doing any water changes haven't done a water change for a couple of months now um, ICP come back really good on the last one uh, so I'm due to do another ICP test just to see where we are with the trace elements etc um, so yeah, I'll just get the camera off the tripod, get a little show around. Now the lighting is, I've just set it to 100% everything. There's no filter on the camera, um, so you're not going to get sort of coral pop like uh, uh, I usually film with a filter on. But I thought I'd just experiment, see where it comes out. It looks quite good at the moment. So what you're seeing on camera is virtually what you see into the naked eye. Um, apart from there's a little bit more pop from the corals. So, here we go. Let's get the camera off the tripod. Bear with me two secs. Okay, so... I'm just going to pop some food in quickly, just to entice the uh, fish out and I'll go through the corals quickly. So coral wise we're doing really well, we've added lots of new corals from a friend of mine's tank who kindly gave me lots of uh, coral frags, um, but our existing corals, the LPS and SPS are doing okay. Uh, we're getting growth, the colour's a little bit off and I think that's because uh, it's a nutrient issue, a little bit deprived of nutrients in this tank, but uh, it's difficult because when tanks are sort of sub a year, you don't want to go too mad with your nitrates and phosphates because you can have algae problems. Um, but yeah, all the corals are doing really, really well. We're getting, you know, better growth from some than others, but uh, there's some new acros up the top. Uh, they're not doing great, some, you know, some are doing okay. Well, the existing corals that were in here are doing really good. And there's lots of frags up in this new rack, which I will go into probably in a later video into detail on these new racks by a company called LAD, London Aquatic Design. If you uh, Facebook them or just Google search LAD, London Aquatic Design, they do some cracking frag racks and acrylic tops for reef tanks. So it's a must to check them out. So, 
fish stock wise, Penny, the Regal Tang, or Blue Tang, is probably now still a little bit bigger than a two pound coin size, so she's growing really rapid. Uh, brilliant health, no uh, white spot issues or nothing. There's no white spot in this tank whatsoever. So that's, uh, that's good. And the obvious one on the screen now is this copper band butterfly fish, which is an awesome, awesome fish. And I wouldn't usually entertain one because their survival rate is, is not great, especially, you know, the early days when you introduce them to the tank, it's getting them feeding. They're such a finicky feeder. And you need to buy one that's, that's been at store for a long time. And you can see it's feeding on everything. Now this one I got for my LFS which is all things aquatic in Hawkehurst. And they've had him for quite some time now. They've been quarantined for ages. It's been in a main display for um, probably a few months. And it's been feeding on literally everything. And it's, uh, you know, such good health. So I took the chance. Now the reason I, I put him in is because I did have a massive aptasia issue in here. Very, very common. Once you get one or two, it's sort of very hard to control unless you can find something to uh, keep them at bay and within a couple of three days he's, he's wiped them all out which is great so a really good functional fish that looks awesome really happy really good appetite not scared of anything it's very peaceful as well all the other fish do really really good algae bloody down here yellow chorus wrasse Scooter Blenny, the two convict gobies which are going to hide which is annoying, there's one here this one seems more confident than the other one, the two clowns, we've got a uh, another wrasse in here, the blue star wrasse which is here at the front, or peacock wrasse, Midas Blenny, in his little hole there. So yeah, all is to be expected really for six months in, you know, I can't really ask for any more to be honest, it's doing really well the reef. Um, we've upped our flow, we've added a new piece of equipment as well, and we've gone for, let's grab the box, the new max spec range of uh, wave pumps uh, the jump range this is the 4k the larger one it's the first jar pump i've had actually and i can say i do have a separate video on it but see it's covered in coralline already it's only been in there what i don't know six weeks uh, i'll do a review on that in the next video probably this controller yeah quite impressed so i'll save that for the next one so filtration wise, we've been without a filter sock now for quite some time, probably a couple of months plus. And uh, say so we're struggling with nutrients. Amazing really how efficient this, uh, this uh, tank runs. So it's just down to the first reception chamber with some live rock. No filter sock, look, nothing. We don't, don't really get much to try it's down here as well, surprisingly. You get a little bit of a build up, but I just pump through it with a turkey baster into the display. And then uh, we've got our Toons large protein skimmer here, doing a cracking job. It just pulls out so much gunk. It's only running 50%. And we've got the last chamber here with all our biological. A bio home, ultimate marine, and the max spec bio blocks. A little bit of live rock, return pump, and heater in there, titanium heat bar. Dosing wise, we're still using Tropic Marin's All for Reef. We're buying the powder, the powder version now, making up the solution ourselves. And that's working out really good. It's got one dose container and using one dose line on the doser. And that's keeping all the parameters nice and steady. So we're due to send off for ICP to see where our trace, are, uh, trace elements are at. But so far, I can't speak highly for, uh, you know, 
high enough for that. Do you recommend that to go for that awful reef? It's just a, such a good all-in-one solution for all your dosing needs. So it's the first time I've gone with this sort of one solution does all job and I'm so impressed. So all in all, we're doing good. I don't want to make this video too long, so we're really over 10 minutes. And uh, I shall do uh, another video on separate subjects over the ensuing weeks. The fish are sort of coming out now. These convict gobies are uh, really growing. Change the markings are changing. Really greedy, massive appetite they have. But yeah, I'll just bring you up to speed with what's going on. I apologise, I haven't posted for a while, but uh, I've just not felt up to it. Um, but hopefully, we'll be back, back on track soon. If you're new to the channel, hit that like and subscribe. That uh, really helps me out, guys, if you hit that like button. So, I'm going to end the video there. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.